Okay. Good morning, guys. So I started noticing some of the issues uh, with some of my, especially my roosters. Um, their cones are looking a little um, like they got little black spots. And my big main rooster, he's uh, even his little waddle underneath his chin looked like it was getting some uh, nastiness on it. If I can pan over here, I'll show you. I have to lock him up because he's a little aggressive sometimes when I'm messing with the hens. But let me see if I can. I got him in a crate. But I don't know if you can see through the crate because he is a little aggressive sometimes. But if you'll notice, his waddle is really low. And you'll notice it's too, it's a... Uh, kind of black and a creamy color, like uh, like it's losing its color. And I noticed when I would come out to feed any scraps or anything, he would really shake it really hard, like it was really bothering him. So what I did is, you know, I went online and I looked it up. Um, and I also did all my hens too, but I just put some uh, Vaseline. I was generous with the Vaseline on top of their cones. I don't know if you can see this little guy. He's got quite a bit. And and, and stuff will stick to it. Um, their feathers and dirt and whatever. But that's okay. Um, the Vaseline is a added... There's one of my hands. I got her coated pretty good. And even my um, Arcana hens, you know, they don't have very high cones. But you need to protect them too. Um, there's my one of my little Rhode Islands. See, even the top of her... Uh, her cone is a little peakish like um, and I think it's just the effects of the cold weather and her little waddle underneath is still kind of like that too um, she's an older hen she's a three-year-old so um, um, but I got them all covered there's my Arakana rooster even his little cone you can see well, he won't hold his head up but, um, but yeah, so protect your birds uh, during these cold times. Um, I'm not letting them out much to forage so they're inside. Um, just because I can keep a better eye on them. And I, if I need to catch them really quickly, then I can catch them really quickly. Um, these are my summer chicks that I raised. So they're about 25 weeks old now. And they've already started laying. They started laying right at 21 weeks, which was the first week of December. So they're little bitty eggs, um, but they'll get bigger as they go. And um, no, they're not laying every day. Let's see if we can get a good shot of his cone there. See, his tips of his cone is uh, a little dark, but uh, this is my little prize rooster right here. And we're going to keep him. And we're going to keep my little Araconda rooster. The others are going to get butchered. And my older hens are going to get butchered this year too. Okay guys, that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, really quick. Just make sure you're taking care of your birds. A little bit of time in the morning spent with them. Um, making sure their water is uh, free of any ice and clean. Um, um, I just have a metal water with a electric uh, pan. Um, got that at Orsland's. They're not real expensive considering, you know, you got to come out and de-ice them every once in a while. When we got really, really cold weather, uh, when it was down minus, I did see uh, a little bit of ice on top of the rim of this water. Let me see if I can get a little closer here. And this water here is probably about, both of these I got a couple of years ago actually. But you can see the water's, uh, uh, it's cold, but uh, this pan, this electric pan, and um, and I still have to keep it, you know, um, free of any ice that might gather just right around on the top. Now where the water comes out of the, the little spout part, let's see if I can right there. I don't know if you can see that. 
it doesn't freeze there because that's where the water's coming out. So I kind of keep it towards the back so that it can, but it was freezing up around here in the front. But that pan really keeps it warm, or it keeps it not warm, but it keeps it from freezing. Um, but during those minus temperatures, we did have, um, I did have a little bit of freezing. And I just keep a little stick right there. And I just come out and break it up, clean it out every day. That's their minerals that they get. I just got those sitting out. They don't eat them a lot. They only eat them when they need them. And I only feed their feed once a day. They get one gallon can of feed a day. Oh, I'm going to drop my cleaner. This is a, a waterless, waterless uh, cleaner. Disinfectant, like bacterial disinfectant soap. Because I thought I would have to do the rooster. Okay, I'm going to let him out. And, I'll, and you'll be able to see that really irritates him. I'm hoping this helps him a little bit. He's probably going to be a little mad. But, but, uh, but you can... You can really see that it really does irritate him. Um, sorry. Um, and he does a lot of head shaking and a little head wobbling because of it. Um, I probably should have came out here the other day when I seen him, noticed him doing it. I had some leftover uh, soup that was a couple days old that we didn't finish eating. And I thought, well, that would be a good, the broth and everything in there would be really good for him. So, uh. It was had a lot of few vegetables and little little pasta, lots of lots of juice, um, and I fed that to them and and uh, they absolutely loved it. And after that was when I noticed it. So I'm assuming his bottles got down in the broth or whatever, and and maybe had a little freezing there on his on his uh, little cone. So okay, yeah. See how he does his flopping I guess it really does start probably irritate him he does that and he does that too because he's an aggressive rooster so that's his kind of like his little aggression uh, kind of uh, dance he does sometimes <laughs> and I try to give him something to do in here so I have a, like a little um, this little block they don't eat it a lot but it is a poultry block it has some uh, molasses and things like that. It's made. I get that at Orsons too. They they eat it sometimes, but got them a little run here. They get up on their little um, uh, wooden uh, just a stick of wood. They like to get up there and and do the thing. And for the girls, I did bring in this uh, this little hand box I had. It was an old one. Set it up on some things so they can get up in there if they want to. But they don't really get in there. They spend more time on top of the box than they do anything. So, okay. Um, that's it. I just want to say, uh, you know, don't forget about your birds. Make sure you're protecting them. Um, show them lots of love. And, and that's it.